What exactly is a radian? Have you ever wondered the answer to that question? What is a radian? What is it? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about that. Now, a radian is a unit of angle measure. Let me say that again. A radian is a unit of angle measure. One radian is equal to an angle measure of approximately 57.3 degrees. So that's really what it is. Now, how do we get that number? How do we get that one radian is equal to approximately 57.3 degrees? Well, let's draw a circle. How many degrees is one complete circle? So if we travel starting from one point on a circle all the way to another, to back to that same point, if we make one full rotation, what is the angle in degrees that we have traveled? A full circle is equal to 360 degrees. And it's also equal to 2 pi radians. So 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. So to get the angle measure of 1 radian in degrees, take 360 degrees and divide it by 2 pi radians. Now keep in mind pi, even though you could use the rounded value of 3.14, it's equal to 3.14159 So using that number in this equation, you may want to put this in parentheses by the way, if you type in into your calculator 360 divided by 2 pi, you're going to get this value, 57.29577. Nine five one, which if you round it, it's approximately 57.3 degrees. So that is a radian. It's an, a, an angle measure. It's a unit of angle. Now that we know what a radian is, how did we get that number in the first place? Where does it come from? Well, let's talk about that. First, let's draw an imperfect circle. So that wasn't that bad for my first try. And let's draw the radius of the circle. The radius of the circle is the distance between the center of the circle, which we're going to make it the point highlighted in red. It's the distance between the center of the circle and any point on the circle. So that's the radius of the circle. Now we're going to draw another radius. The distance between these two points, let's call this point a and point B, that is known as the intercepted arc, or you can call it the arc length, which most textbooks, they would use the symbol S for that. The arc length is equal to the angle measure times the radius of the circle. So this is the angle measure. Now, the arc length could be anything from 0 to 2 pi, even more than 2 pi. But when the arc length is equal to the radius of the circle, the angle is equal to one radian. And that's where the idea of a radian comes from. One radian occurs when the arc length is equal to the radius of the circle. So that's where we get it. And you could draw any circle. If you take the measurement of the radius of the circle and you draw these two in such a way that the arc length is equal to the radius of the circle, you're going to get an angle of approximately 57.3 degrees or one radian. So here's how you can use this formula to get that answer. We're going to make S equal to R. So I'm going to replace S with R. If you divide both sides by R, R divided by R is 1. And so when s is equal to r, theta is equal to 1, or more specifically, 1 radian. Now you might be wondering, what are the units of s, theta, and r? So for instance, let's say if we have a circle with a radius of 4 inches. And let's say the angle measure is 2 radians. What is the arc length? What is S equal to? 
Now using a formula, you would say that theta is 2, r is 4, so s would be 8, but specifically 8 inches. But let's make sense of the units. Theta is in radians, so it's 2 radians over 1. In order for us to get inches for s, the radius have to be 4 inches per radian so that these two units will cancel and s will be 8 inches. So the radius is really a unit of length per angle measure. In this case, it's 4 inches per radian. Now let's answer another question that relates to radians. How many radians are in a circle? What would you say? How many radians are in one circle? So let's draw a circle. The circumference of a circle is basically the distance around a circle. Technically, this distance highlighted in red. So that is the circumference of a circle. The circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi times r. Now, this equation comes from the arc length equation. S is equal to theta times r. So let's say this is the radius and this is the radius. S will be equal to the intercepted arc. However, we could extend S such that it equals the entire circumference of the circle. So when S is equal to the circumference of the circle, R is still equal to R, but that means that the intercepted angle is equal to two pi radians. So for one complete circle, the angle measure of that is 2 pi radians or 360 degrees. Now we know that pi is approximately 3.14. I mean, you could use some other numbers like 3.14159 if you want to, but 3.14 will work for our purposes. If we multiply that by 2, then we get that the angle measure is approximately 6.283 radians, if you round it. So this is how many radians there are in a, a complete circle. There are 6.283 radians in one circle. There's one more thing that we need to talk about relating to this topic, and that is the ability to convert from radians to degrees and degrees to radians. So let's say if you have an angle measure of 30 degrees, how do you convert that to radians? Feel free to pause the video if you want to try this. So to convert degrees into radians, multiply the angle in degrees by pi divided by 180. Keep in mind, we said that 360 degrees is equal to pi radians. I mean, two pi radians. Let me take that back. So if we divide both sides by 2, 360 divided by 2 is 180. 2 pi divided by 2 is pi. So 180 degrees is equal to an angle measure of pi radians. Thus, to convert 30 degrees into radians, multiply by pi over 180 degrees. We want the unit degrees to cancel. So we're going to get 30 pi over 180. Now what we need to do is simplify this fraction. The first thing we could do is cancel a 0. So we get 3 pi over 18. And then 18, we can break that up into 3 times 6. 3 times 6 is 18. So this is going to give us pi over 6 radians. Let's try another example. Go ahead and convert 60 degrees to radians. So let's start with what we're given, 60 degrees. And we're going to multiply that by pi over 180 degrees. So these units will cancel. We're going to get 60 pi divided by 180. And then we can cancel a 0, which gives us 6 pi over 18. And 18, let's rewrite that as 6 times 3. So we can cancel a 6. 
and thus we're going to get pi over 3 radians. So 60 degrees is equal to pi over 3. Now what about converting in the other direction? That is, let's say if we're given an angle in radians and we want to convert it to degrees. How can we do that? So let's start with an angle measure of 5 pi over 6 radians. In order to convert it to degrees, you want to flip the second fraction. Instead of multiplying it by pi over 180, you want to multiply it by 180 degrees over pi radians. So the unit pi will cancel. Thus, we're going to get 5 times 180 divided by 6. Now, 180 is basically 30 times 6. Now let's keep the degree symbol here. So we could cancel a 6, and then we have 5 times 30. 5 times 3 is 15. If we add the 0, this is going to be 150. And so that's how we can convert from radians to degrees. So 5 pi over 6 radians is equal to 150 degrees. Let's try another example. Let's say we have the angle 4 pi over 3. Let's convert that to degrees. So just like before, we're going to multiply by 180 degrees over pi. So the unit pi will cancel. And this is going to be 4 times 180 divided by 3. 180 is equal to 60 times 3. So canceling 3, we have 4 times 60 left over. 4 times 6 is 24. So 4 times 60 is 240. Thus, 4 pi over 3 is equal to 240 degrees. So that's it for this video. So now you know what radians are, where it comes from, and you know how to convert between radians and degrees and vice versa. Thanks for watching.